Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about the factorials. Okay, first we will see the definition of factorial. Okay, this is the definition factorial of non-negative integer n denoted by n factorial is the product of all positive integers less than or equal to n. Okay, here factorial of non-negative integer that is nothing but here in this tutorial we are talking about the factorial of positive integers that is 1, 2, 3, 10, 15 like that. Here in this tutorial we are not talking about the factorial of negative integers. Okay, And the factorial of any number will be denoted by this symbol. Okay. For example, if I want to find out the factorial of 5, then I'll write like this. Okay, this is the 5 factorial and this is nothing but the product of all positive integer less than or equal to n. Okay, here n value is 5. So it is nothing but the product of all positive integer less than or equal to 5. 4, 3, 2 and 1. So 5 factorial is nothing but 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So it is nothing but uh, 120, right? 5 4s are 20, 23 is a 60, 62 is a 120, 120 into 1 that is 120. So the value of factorial 5 is 120. Okay. So factorial of any number is nothing but product of all positive integer less than or equal to that number. Okay, and this definition is for the positive integers and the factorial of 0 is 1. Okay, so 0 factorial value is 1. And next we will see how to write a Python program to print the factorial of any positive integer or 0. Okay, we can write the factorial program in three ways. Okay. Okay, first way is using the inbuilt function factorial. Okay, in the Python there is a inbuilt function called factorial in the math module. And this is the inbuilt function. So you can directly use this function and you can find out the factorial of 0 and positive integers. And the second way is we can write the factorial program using recursion. Using the recursive function, we can write the factorial program. And the third way is without using recursion, that is using iterative approach, we can write the factorial program. So today in this tutorial, we are writing the program using the inbuilt function. So now we will see how to use this inbuilt function in our program. In the python file first we'll ask the user to enter the input that is we'll ask the user to enter the number for which he want to find out the factorial and first i need to take a variable to store the whatever input entered by the user so i'll take variable name as n input okay so we need to use input function to get the input from the user okay I'll write a message enter the number it will display on the output screen and here we want an integer value right but this input function will take input as the string values so we need to convert this so I'll use int function here this input function will take input as the string value but here in our program we don't want string value we want an integer input that's why here i converted that string value to int next now i want to find out the factorial of n so i'm using an inbuilt function factorial which is the function of the math module so use that function we need to import math module okay so here first in our program we need to import math module it is because our factorial function is defined in the math module so to use that factorial function we need to import this module okay 
so for that import math and here we ask the user to enter the number next i'll take one variable result and here i'll use the inbuilt function math dot factorial of n so it is nothing but here we are using the inbuilt function factorial which is belong to the math module and here we want to find out the factorial of n so here i pass the parameter as n and whatever will get the result will be stored in this result variable okay so next i'll print that result so factorial of n and is result okay here whatever i wrote within the double quotes will be displayed as it is on the output screen and here i want to print the value of n that's why here i wrote n without the double quotes okay here also i want the value of this variable that's why i wrote this without the double quotes okay so now we are done with our program so we need to save this control s and run this so now it will ask enter the number so i want to find out the factorial of 5 okay so i'll enter 5 here so factorial of 5 is 120 and if you are using the python version 2.7 or uh, upper than that that it's like python 3 python 3.5 then you can use this inbuilt function okay so now if i run this again and i want to find out the factorial of 0 so i'll give the number as 0 and here we can see factorial of 0 is 1 the value of 0 factorial is 1 if i want to find out the factorial of 1 this is 1 value of 1 factorial is also 1 so now i want to find out the factorial of number 4 so i'll enter 4 here we can see factorial of 4 is 24 okay so there we want to find out the factorial of 4 that is 4 factorial it is nothing but the product of uh, all the positive integer less than this number and equal to that number so here that is nothing but 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 right here 4 3 is at 12 12 2 is at 24 and 24 into 1 that is 24 so the value of 4 factorial is 24 that's what we got in our output the value of 4 factorial is 24 okay this is about the factorial of a positive integer and zero and here we use the inbuilt function factorial to print the factorial of any positive integer and in the next tutorial we'll see how to write the factorial program using recursion okay so i'll meet you in the next tutorial till then take care